Hey, what's up everyone? So Dragon Ball Super episode 121. Man, this tournament, we're getting close to the end. So we start off this episode with the three fused robots and the doctor scientist pretty much standing together. And he's holding up his uh, little staff thing that's glowing. And they pretty much combine into one being, which is pretty awesome actually. I, I don't know how it works. But the scientist somehow fuses with three giant robots and becomes this gigantic, and I mean gigantic, looking monster person. It's pretty crazy. And like I said, he's he's huge, man. You you see the rest of the fighters, the rest of Universe 7, just kind of standing there. And this guy is just like towering over them. Like, for some reason, that just kind of surprised me more than this scientist guy fusing with robots. I'm like, man, I, I didn't expect him to be so tall. I thought he was going to be average size or something, but no, he, he is big. <laughs> Again, I cannot stress how big this guy is. So, this guy, I, I, don't, I don't remember his name. He starts attacking Universe 7. Well, he starts attacking everyone. He shoots out blasts, and everyone from Universe 7 starts dodging the blast. And then a blast even goes over to Topo and Jiren and Despo. And Jiren, he just kind of blocks the blast, and to or Despo says... Is this guy just going to attack all of us at once? Which if he did, it'd be kind of suicide. But since there's only three universes left, and Jiren and them, you know, they're going to be left for the finals, they kind of stay to the side. So it's pretty much the five or five remaining fighters, except for Frieza, fighting against this giant guy. So you have 18, 17, Goku, Vegeta, and Gohan fighting against him. And they're able to dodge his attacks. He's, he's really, really powerful. And they say he's a lot faster, but he's kind of, you can kind of tell he's hes slow. Like, it's easy for them to dodge their attacks, because he's just so massive, even though he's fast. Which, he is fast for a big guy, but he's just not as fast as the other fighters. He's able to hit him, but they're able to dodge his attacks for the most part. Eventually, he starts uh, punching through dimensions. He does a Jonenbun thing, you know, so he creates portals and he punches through them. And he he's able to attack all the fighters wherever they're at so he just punches and it'll hit him from even across the arena so he starts punching them like that and it starts hurting him or he starts knocking him around pretty badly because it's hard for them to dodge it because it's pretty fast the portal just appears and then bam he just punches right through it so it's almost instant so he just punches and as soon as he punches you're pretty much hit which is crazy so it gets so bad that he punches Goku in the back and he flies, he flies off the arena, and it looks like Goku's about to be eliminated because he's just tired of weakening. But out of nowhere, Frieza shows up and bam, kicks him back into the arena. And I mean, he kicks him right into the arena, which is kind of hilarious. That's totally the Frieza thing to do. Instead of grabbing him and throwing him back in, or even just, you know, slightly, lightly grabbing him and jumping onto the arena or whatever, he kicks him into the arena, which is hilarious. That's, that's a Frieza thing to do, which is awesome. So, Frieza is like, oh, this giant thing was going to eliminate you, and that would have been bad for me. So I just decided to save you, Kakarot or Goku. And Goku's like, oh, thanks. You mind joining us against this person? We could use our help. And Frieza's like, me? With you guys? Kind of like, it, it, it ends up happening, Frieza, because this guy just starts attacking all six of them, and they start dodging him, but eventually he shoots out this red orb, it just kind of bursts into a bunch of little mini blasts and it starts hitting everyone and everyone's just blocking them or dodging them, you know, anything they can to not get hit. And eventually 17 starts getting overwhelmed and he uses his little force bubble to block all these blasts, but it knocks them really close to the edge of the arena. And the, the big guy notices, so he shoots out a mouth blaster from his head, I forget, and it hits 17 and it knocks them off the arena and you're like, oh man. Looks like 17 is about to be eliminated, but out of nowhere, 18 comes and saves him, which is a really awesome moment. That's something I like about this tournament, 17 and 18 and their interactions, you know, because they're brothers and sisters. And we first saw them back in the Android Saga, they, they seem kind of close, or at least they seem to work really good together. So seeing them back in action, like I always say it every time there's an episode where the two of them interact, it's just awesome to see. So 18 saves 17 and she's just like, it's up to you, you know, you carry on. So she kicks him back into the arena and saves 17's uh, from being eliminated, not his life. So 
we're down to five fighters in Universe 7, so it's the five of these fighters versus this giant beast. And this guy, he's really powerful. He almost eliminated three fighters, because he also almost eliminated 18 earlier in the match by... He was, a, he was gonna eat 18 for some reason. Like, they mentioned it like, oh, it's gonna be hard for him to knock him off, so it's smart for them to eat, for him to eat him, which I'm like, wouldn't that disqualify him? Because wouldn't that be pretty much killing him? I don't know, so he, he, he was about to eat 18, but Goku saved there. But this guy is so powerful, he was eliminating three fighters. So now we're, you know, we're down to the five fighters. This beast, robot, mutation, whatever you want to call it, bio weapon grows these giant wings and he flies up into the air and he powers up this giant ball and he launches at them at their five remaining fighters and they all power up they're like we're not gonna take this so they all shoot their specialty attacks you know Kamehameha uh, Frieza's little death beam that looks real powerful and they're, they're trying to push back this gigantic ball and they're not having any luck because it just starts you know overwhelming them and pushing them back because I guess this guy is just really really powerful he, I guess that was universe's three super weapon so eventually 17 decides to uh, you know this isn't working so he stops shooting his blast and he forms his force ball he jumps into the fireball and he starts helping to push it back and eventually he pushes so much that he goes right through it and he goes right through the thing the giant death ball and he punches this giant beast guy right in the face or squaring this jewel, he has like this giant jewel in his head. He hits him the jewel, shatters it, and apparently that was like a power energy source kind of thing, because he gets weakened, and the rest of the universe uh, seven fighters, Vegeta, Goku, Gohan, and Frieza, are able to knock back the blast, and it hits him, and it, it, it looks like it kills him, honestly, because <laughs> you just see a big old flash of light, and kinda, it kind of looks like he gets disintegrated, but apparently it just kind of knocks him off the arena. You don't actually see him fall off the arena, but apparently he was. Because they all, the rest of the Universe 3 fighters, all appear on their pedestal next to, you know, their angel and the god of destruction and everything. And they're like, oh, we're pretty much done. So the Zenosamas decide, or they do their little elimination thing. But one of the surprising things is, right before Universe 3 gets eliminated, their giant god of destruction robot he opens up like his chest or his stomach opens up and at first I was like what, what the hell is he gonna do shoot a bomb at or something but it turns out there's the god of destruction isn't a giant robot he's like this little demon looking guy controlling the god or controlling this giant robotic body which is kind of crazy <laughs> I was really surprised about that I don't know if that was foreshadowed or if they mentioned that before but I was like what the heck there's this little demon guy controlling a robot so I thought that was kind of cool and but Universe 3 gets disintegrated, they're destroyed, you know, bye bye Universe 3, you put up a good fight, you know, you were top 3 of all the universes in here. So we're down to 8 fighters and 2 universes. Goku's team versus Jiren's team, which is going to be next year or next week, because, you know, this is the last episode of the year, of 2017, and it's been a long road coming to, the, you know, this final battle. And I'm, I have to say I'm excited for it. So overall, it was a pretty decent episode. I enjoyed it. It was cool seeing all these fighters coming together and fighting. And I love the moment where they're all shooting a blast and trying to push back the giant red death orb. That was an awesome moment. Something this, something this tournament had was just super cool, awesome moments like that. That's just super awesome seeing them all, you know, Frieza, Seventeen, Goku, Gohan, and Vegeta all together just standing right next to each other shooting a blast. That's that's so awesome because you, I, in a hundred years or even a year ago, I, I never would have thought I'd see a scene like that. You know, Seventeen, I thought he was pretty much done in the Dragon Ball series and they brought him back. Frieza, Goku's, you know, his biggest enemy. I never thought he'd be fighting side by side with them. So seeing all of them coming together to fight this enemy was pretty awesome, I gotta say. So like I said, it was a pretty decent episode. I enjoyed it. I, I can't wait. Until next year, until next week, until the fight or the final conversation, final battle, you know, the Universe Seven has five fighters. You know, Jiren's team is down to three, but Jiren and Topo are pretty strong. So I guess we'll see what happens. Uh, it was sad to see 18 eliminated. I kind of wanted her to get to the final battle, but in all honesty, I kind of thought 17 and 18 were going to be eliminated. So 
overall, you know, they only lost one person, not bad. And it kind of looked like Seventeen was going to sacrifice himself to destroy this big bad guy. So him not being eliminated is a big plus. So I'm pretty sure it's going to get, you know, Goku and Vegeta are probably going to team up against Jiren. Uh, Topo is probably going to be Gohan and maybe Frieza, unless Frieza decides to stand on the sideline. And uh, Despo versus Seventeen? I don't know. I guess we'll see. Super excited for this episode, uh, or the next final episodes. If you guys watched the episode, what did you think? Did you enjoy it? Did you think it was bad? You know, what did you think? Good? Bad? Can't wait for the next episodes to start? Let me know in the comments below. You know, as always, thank you for watching. Have a Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays, whatever you celebrate. And I will catch you in the next one. Peace out. Hey, if you like this video, we have several other awesome videos you can check out. And again, thanks for watching.